Let's talk about the animation workflow with UE Duplicify. When you have an animation on your source rig and you click convert and you're in control mode, a new Rigify rig is being created and the keyframes from your original source rig are being copied over into a new action on that Rigify rig. So let's take a look at this current action on this source rig right now called run. If I hit convert, it has been converted over to the Rigify rig. And what UE to Rigify does is it takes our old action on our source rig and renames it to source underscore run. It prefixes everything with underscore source. It does this so that if your Rigify rig and your original source rig do happen to have matching bone names, the keyframes won't get overwritten and they'll be preserved. So when I hit revert, I'm back to my original source rig and my source animation is still there and unmodified. If I hit convert a second time, you'll see that it doesn't overwrite the animation. And this can be nice because if I was editing keyframes on my control rig, I wouldn't want to overwrite my animation unless I explicitly wanted to. Since we have a run and source rig run, the source rig run would be written on top of run. If we did want to do that, all we have to do is just select overwrite animation. When I hit convert, the existing run action was deleted and then the new keyframes were baked over to a new action called run. Let's talk about freezing your Rigify rig. You'll see this lock icon up by your source rig. If you select this, this will freeze your rig and prevent any changes from happening to the rig. Once you have built your templates and you're satisfied with the bones that you've added and the entire rig and you want to start animating, this is a necessary step if you want to animate on your rig. This will ensure that no data gets lost on a file save or file load or if you switch back and forth between modes. Because ultimately what UD Rigify is doing under the hood is it is deleting and recreating your entire Rigify rig every time you switch to control mode. Therefore, if you edit any information on the bones, that information will be lost when the mode is changed. So this lock icon ensures that the modes will not change. Let's say I go in here and I modify this animation like this. And then let's say that this is, the, this is my new animation and I want to bake this new animation back down to my source rig. What I can do is I can go ahead and just unlock UE to Rigify. It will say unfreeze. Data not generated with Rigify could be lost. We understand this so we're just going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click bake. Are you sure? Baking will delete your control rig animations. So basically what this is saying is that you will lose this animation right here that you've made on the Rigify rig. So if we're okay with that, let's just go ahead and bake down our animations. Now we are back to our source rig. But now our source rig has the new animation we've created. Now our original bones have been modified and can be exported to an FBX file.